Jim Bianco with Bianco Research. Great to see you here at Camp Co Talk. Thanks for having me. And of course, one of the big issues people have been talking about is what's next for the economy. Everyone is guessing when the Fed moves. Is it September for sure? It isn't for sure, but it's increasingly looking like that. The Fed more and more is intent on moving in September. They're sending signals that they're moving in September. The data is maybe not screaming that they need to move in September, but it's certainly not standing in the way as the way the Fed has defined it. So what's the danger if they don't move or if they do move? Well, there's a lot of dangers because this is a new thing that they're going to do. We're on zero. We have quantitative easing. Uh, the Fed is now eventually going to uh, get rid of quantitative easing, lift off of zero. No one's ever done that before. They're using a host of tools that they invented just two years ago, like reverse repos, interest on excess reserves. They've never used those tools before to raise rates. Now the Fed will tell you, we've modeled that. We've got it all figured out. Yes, I have spreadsheets too. But the fact of the matter is, it's never been tried. So the risk is that when they go to raise rates, the markets don't respond as we expect them to. So then what is the danger for an investor that they should be thinking about in the weeks ahead? That when the Fed raises rates, that it creates some kind of an instability thing in the markets. Either the money markets wind up having a lot more volatility or the markets have a little more volatility. What investors need to remember is that in 2005, 2004, when they would drain reserves and raise the funds rate, that was a typical thing that the Fed had had 100 years of experience on. Raising a reverse repo rate or an interest on excess reserves to influence interest rates higher, this is a whole new ballgame for them. They might undershoot. It's very possible that the Fed could make an announcement. We've raised rates 25 basis points. You look a week later, they've only gone up 10 or 15. It's also possible they raise, raise rates 25 basis points. They might go up 25, but then you'll hear about funding problems in the uh, money markets, like commercial paper markets and stuff, uh, at the end, just from a few issuers, not necessarily systemic. We don't know. That's what the Fed has been wargaming, and they think and they hope that they've got it right. So it's all a big guess as they move forward. That's what investors need to understand, that this is a different type of rate hike, and it might lead to unintended consequences. If you are in fixed income or a portion of your holdings are in fixed income, is there a safe place to be? Well, the fixed income market is, is really kind of two, two levels on it. At the front end, yields, say, from five years inside have been rising because the Fed's going to raise rates. But at the back end, especially at 30-year bonds, yields have been falling. The yield curve has been flattening. A reasonable exp explanation for that is the market thinks the Fed's going to raise rates. That's why the front end's going up. And it will be very bad. That's why the, bad, the back end or the 30-year is going down. So if you subscribe to that theory, You'd be, very, you'd be well served to be in long bonds, um, more so than in uh, the front end of the curve, betting on that the yield curve will continue to flatten. Jim Bianco, good to talk to you. Thank you.